Hi, Dan Toombs here, The Curry Guy, and this is another video that I'm doing with Misty Ricardo, the one and only Misty Ricardo, Richard Sace, and this is going to be one from his second book. And what is it you're making today? It's a Shahi Chicken Tikka. All right. Uh, which is, um, I would like to say, popular restaurant dish. It's a very special uh, dish. It can be called many things, but it's got usually got chicken tikka and minced lamb. And a few other things in. And it looks like you've got that all sorted. So let's well, go let's yeah. hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds great. Thank you, Dan. Um, right, well, start off as ever, olive oil. I'm not going to measure things out here because I know. Um, Who does? I do at home. <laughs> do but you really? That's just because I'm like that. All right, well, I'm, but I'm the opposite. I never measure stuff. The best, the best chefs always never <laughs> measure. I don't know about that, I'm just lazy. Well, it turns out all right. <laughs> and we've, we've added some oil to the pan here. Right. And now it's time for the onion, which is going to make a bit of a noise. So apologies for this. The onion's there really for a bit of body to the, the curry and a bit of uh, flavour. And it'll just, uh, as it released water, they do the fight loud. So yeah. It, 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 will cool, it will calm down here noise wise in the kitchen. It will, yes. Uh, anyway, there's a nice sizzling sound going on there, it smells nice. So, after we've cooked the onions for a minute or two, just to get them slightly browned, you don't want to sort of caramelise them completely, we want to put in the garlic and ginger paste. Garlic and ginger paste, there you go. There we go. I'm fast forwarding here a bit. So, yeah, a good two, two teaspoons, level teaspoons. Do you use uh, level or rounded? Or do I you use rounded. I use rounded. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you know, there you go. I like it. I like things spicy. I know that if you, if you put too much cumin in, it still okay, tastes good. Yeah. So most spices are okay. Yes. Obviously, if you put too much chili in, be careful. But I like chili anyway. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, I like it, like it spicy. Um, but each to his own. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's it's both totally fine. But that's the great thing about making DIR curry at home is that you can, uh, or any curry for that matter, you can you can you can adjust it. You know, you don't have to follow the recipe exactly. If you don't like chilies or you think it's too spicy to put too much uh, uh, chili powder in, don't. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> you, uh, totally customizable. You can make it however you want. Yeah. Um, another thing we've forgotten uh, star anise and some green cardamoms, which yeah. have been split open with the back of a knife. Important yeah. to do that because the, the, the seeds have yeah, all the flavour. There's, no, there's no flavour in the pie. No. So that, that's, those, those go in. I'd normally put some. Perhaps some cassia bark or Asian bay leaf as well, but not this time, it's absolutely fine. You can, you can customise it how you like. So the, the ginger and garlic here is starting to, to stick a bit. Uh, so to prevent it burning, well, first of all, we're going to put in some mixed powder before quenching it. Uh, I've got some kasuri metha here, which I'm going to sprinkle in like that between the fingers. Yeah. And we've got a bit of chilli powder, you don't have to add any of this, nice Kashmiri chilli powder has a lovely red colour, just a hint, hint of that. You can make, you can put fresh chillies in at this, time, this point as well. So that's going nicely, don't want it to burn, so we're going to quench it with a bit of base gravy. And what that does, it gives the spices time to cook while the base gravy reduces, thickens. Uh, and it stops the um, stops the spices burning. So we're going to give that 20 seconds. No, no more than about that. That's plenty. We've got plenty of heat going on here. So all good. And then we're going to put in the green pepper. Green pepper right. Finely chopped up. Okay. Um, and we're also going to add a little bit of tandoori masala. Uh, just a sort of bit of a tangy flavour. Now, normally the stuff I get is red, but we've got some special stuff here by um, Spice Kitchen. Yeah, this is my recipe actually. They yeah, they're, they're, together. they're blending it for you. I know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have known Sanjay from Spice Kitchen for a long yeah. time. Yeah. You, you, um, in fact, I think I met him before I, I knew you. Oh, so right. it's good yeah. to it all ties up together. Anyway, I'm going to put a put about you know maybe. Half a teaspoon or so. Okay. We're going to add a bit more base grains to the quenching uh, while I'm being, being cautious here. And we're going to put a little bit of orange food colouring in. Absolutely okay. optional. I just like think it gives a nice colour. And particularly because the tandoori masala we're using doesn't have any artificial yeah, colour yeah. added to it like the normal commercial stuff does. This will sort of compensate. 
But again, it's entirely up to you. you don't Some have to people use have it. A, a, something against it. I think it's what's wrong with it. Well, <laughs> I think it's great. In, so moder in moderation. I've got too um, many vices to get. Yes. I mean, uh, in moderation, absolutely fine. Yeah. I mean, if you start, you know, sprink sprinkling it on your cornflakes, I don't know, that might be a bit weird. But absolutely fine once in a while. It's giving it a bit of It is, isn't it? It's, yeah, it comes out well. You know, add the chicken tikka now. Now I cut these in big, nice big chunks because I think it stays juicier inside. Yeah. Um, by doing that, but I'm going to sort of chop it up in the pan a bit, um, so it's sort of more edible. And also the exposed white bits, which haven't been marinated, 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 marinated. marinated. Yeah, yeah. Right. Marinated. The tea. Yeah. Well, the tea. <laughs> marinade is the is the noun. Exactly. Marinate yeah. is the, the verb. Right. So anyway, I'm going to chop those in half. <laughs> Uh, to, just to let the uh, inside bits get some, get some um, spice on them. Okay, so now it's time to top up with a bit of base gravy. I'm going to put about that much in. We've got quite a nice heat going on here. So we don't need to worry too much about, um, about doing it in little, little, little labels at a time. I'm going to whack the heat up. And we're going to put the pre-cooked keema in. Now, I've got a recipe for this in both my books. Uh, sorry, in the, in the first book, um, Indian Restaurant Curry at Home, Volume 1. Yeah. Uh, and it's easy to do. You just get some spices and you've got minced lamb. You could use minced beef instead if you wanted, or mutton, or goat, or whatever, really whatever really suits. Uh, and it's sort of it's cooked with the spices, so it sort of takes on flavour. And it's good to add the spices um, you know, as you're cooking each individual flavour there. So that goes in. Again, I'm not measuring, so you can get sort of judged by eye how much there is. This is going to feed up two people, at least, I would say. I'll put it out here too. Is, uh, what you've done there, that's something that's totally DIR, isn't it? You get your stuff ready before you start cooking. Absolutely. And that's what they have to, they have to do it that way in a crowded, in a busy kitchen. Absolutely. They can't be frying that up every single time, trying yeah. to get it ready. You know, no, all, no, absolutely. All no. sorted and ready to go. No, particularly lamb takes, takes a bit yeah, of time yeah. to cook. Uh, it goes with pre-cooked chicken as well. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of people um, sort of turn their nose up and say, oh, I don't really bother doing that. But the truth is, it actually comes out more tender yeah, uh, and exactly. more juicy and flavoursome yeah. if you do pre-cook it. Even well, there's all the, the, the marinade on there. Yeah. It's, it's just another layer of flavour. And it does, yeah. And yeah. if you store it with a sauce, you know, in, perhaps in freezer bags, yeah. and you can coat it with a sauce, mm -hmm. it actually carries on marinating even after, after it's been sealed and cooked. Yeah, yeah. So it uh, really improves. But then again, like your tip about um, adding it to fresh gravy, that's yeah. another... That's a compromise. Well, just because I started getting lazy, and uh, I used to cook pre-cook my meat and everything, my lamb, my chicken, well, any special recipes I have, I found that you know, it just gives a nice flavour to the base gravy if you cook it in there, and it's, uh, it's easy. Absolutely. I mean, not, we don't all have lots of time, and you yeah, know, no. it's it's sort of a pain enough for the, to make the base gravy, even though you make a lot of it and, and freeze it. Uh, but once once you've got it all ready, it's yeah, a piece yeah. of cake, bit. exactly. Thanks. Uh, so we've got a, a hard boiled egg, just for indulgence, we're going to put that in. What I like to do sometimes is fry that with a bit of oil and turmeric to give it a nice golden colour. Yeah. We won't do it this time. That's just there purely for... Purely to uh, add a pound on to what, we, what yeah. a restaurant <laughs> might charge. Okay. Nice pound egg. Yep. So, and then we're going to add some tomato puree. Uh, because we haven't done that also already. And we're going to add a few dollops of Worcestershire that's sauce. That's different. I don't see that done very often, but that that's like a it's nice condiment yeah. and yeah, sauces. Yeah. Don't be don't be surprised. I mean, it's a superb condiment. I've, I've seen it used many times in, in takeaways and restaurants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, along with you know the, the other sort of condiments, and there are some good stuff out there. Um, East End and, and Raja oh, course, yeah, the sauces. Yeah, yeah. The uh, Maggie do some sort of good sauces. But. Uh, that's good. I'm gonna stir that together. I'm going to try and avoid stirring it too much because yeah, that's that's the that's <laughs> the problem. You get a bit too sort of keen to stir, and it doesn't sort of um, get hot enough to caramelise properly, and you lose some of the flavour. You miss out on some of the flavour. Mm, that smells so nice though. That's, that's going to be perfect. It's, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put a couple of, couple of tomato segments in, 
And have we missed anything else? I don't think, I think we we've got everything. You know, I'll yeah, I'll gosh, 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 we're probably under near the end. But I'm just going to leave that for maybe two minutes, and we'll come back to it. All right. Yep. So, welcome back. It's been uh, about three three minutes or so. We've let it reduce down. Uh, we've had a bit of salt, which I forgot to do before. Uh, and in fact, you know, what we're going to do is just about half a teaspoon's worth. I'll stir that in and let it cook for another 30 seconds just so the salt dissipates because it'll taste too strong the salt hasn't cooked in properly. So here we go. Let's um, All right, look forward to this. Let's have a taste. Yeah, yeah. Is that mine? That's yours right there. Ah, oh, good, good. I'm gonna try a taste of this. Try I'll, oh, that was very hot. Yeah, I was gonna chop the chica up, but let's um I'll chop a bit up for you, Dan, so you can taste it. Mm. You can try a bit. There you go. Let's turn the heat off. Mm. That's really good sauce. Yeah. Let's cut this egg in half. So we get a nice bit of egg there. These have just mm. been hard boiled uh, for, for eight minutes and uh, left to cool down. So, you got a bit chicken? Mm. You've mm. got a chicken? Gorgeous. Let's let's try this. I cooked this yesterday at home. So mm. let's give it a that. Perfect. It's very hot. Folks, you need to make this. It's really good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, perfect. Mm. Again from your second book. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. Love it. Thanks a lot. First lockdown. That's a Shahi chicken tikka. Great. Folks, please uh, don't forget to uh, to uh, subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so you get notified when I have new videos coming out. I have new videos every Wednesday and a few in between as well. So thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Dan. All right. Cheers. Cheers.